Chapter on the prophets peace be upon him exhorting the people to tahajjud and nawafil without making them compulsory the prophet peace be upon him went to ali and fatima may allah be pleased with them at night and knocked their door to exhort them to perform salat i.e night prayers narrated ummu salama may allah be pleased with her one night the prophet peace be upon him got up and said Subhanallah, how many al-fitan, trials and afflictions, has been sent down tonight, and how many treasures have been sent down, disclosed. Go and wake the sleeping lady occupants of these dwellings up for salat, prayers. Perhaps a well-dressed in this world may be naked in the hereafter. Footnote, Subhanallah means glorified is Allah. Narrated Ali ibn Abi Talib, may Allah be pleased with him, that one night Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, came to him and Fatima, may Allah be pleased with her, the daughter of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and said, Don't you both offer the tahajjud prayers at night? I said, O oh Allah's Messenger, our souls are in the hands of Allah, and if He wants us to get up, He will make us get up. When I said that, he left us without saying anything, and I heard that he was hitting his thigh and saying, But man is ever more quarrelsome than anything. Quran chapter 18 verse 54 Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, used to give up a good deed, although he loved to do it, for fear that people might act on it and it might be made compulsory for them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, never offered the duha prayer, but I offer it. Narrated Aisha, the mother of the faithful believers, may Allah be pleased with her. One night Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, offered the salat prayer in the mosque, and the people followed him. The next night he also offered the salat prayer, and a great number of people followed him. On the third or the fourth night, more and more people gathered, but Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, did not come out to them. In the morning he said, I saw what you were doing, and nothing stopped me from coming out to you, but the fear that it, i.e. the Salat, might be enjoined on you. And that happened in the month of Ramadan.